Hey, Jeff. Uh, my name is Wendell Thompson. I'm the owner of Flintstone SEO, and we're a digital marketing agency, which we also help with um, SEO services. Um, I came across your Craigslist ad, so the reason I wanted to shoot you over this, this quick video, just to give you some, some tips and tricks that you can start doing today, I'm going to start improving and increasing your online presence to start beating out your competition online. Um, so by the end of this video, you like what you hear, you'd like to know more about how Flintstone SEO can help you grow your business online, please feel free to give me a call and we can chat. Um, if not, no worries at all. Just take the tips I've given you here in this video and just put them in action for yourself. Um, I'll ask you just for some feedback on this video if you don't mind. Um, so let's let's go ahead and get into it. Now, there's three things I'm going to cover today is uh, content, citations, and backlinks. Now, as you can see here, I believe I do have the correct web page up here. Um, I did kind of do some, some searching and it looks like you did have um, an older web page as well, which is this one. But kind of looking at this one, we're going to focus on, on this one today. Again, it seems like it's a it's more up updated page. Um, but the first thing that I want to cover today is content. And that's basically anything that you can see that's on your front page. And you need at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page and around 500 to 700 words on your back pages in order to be optimized with Google. Now, content, it also includes pictures, um, what the pictures are saved as, and also what's behind the pictures are included as content as well. Now, right offhand, I'm not seeing any pictures on your front page, but just to give you an example of what I'm, I mean by that, if I were to go to gallery um, and maybe right click on these images here, hit save image as. Down here, we can see an example of where we can place um, keywords in here. So this can be in piano repair um, services, um, Long Beach. Um, just, just an example of what, what we can do to actually optimize your page to get you start ranking higher. So. All those factors can be seen by Google. So just make sure that you have enough unique, relevant, high quality content on your front page. It's gonna allow you to add in those keywords and key phrases that people are gonna be using to search for, your, for businesses that offer your services. It's really gonna help you get found in the search engine. So looking at the second thing I want to cover today is citations. So if I go over to Google, um, we're gonna put in a piano tuning in, in Long Beach. Now, right offhand, um, you, as you can see up here, we do have the, the map section up here. And the, what the map section it consists of is actually it's really important for citations. And I believe this, this site here is actually one of, I think it's linking to your, your old web page. I did click on it. I think that, those are images of you. But even looking at this, um, we do have some discrepancies discrepancies here. Uh, we see piano tuning tuner for the stars. Um, and I don't believe that's the correct website because I think your other ones are showing um, pianotunerservice.com. And then a the normal one is piano tuning bargain.com. Um, so just to think with that, we can actually um, link that to your new web page and actually that again, you can still stay there, but that'll drive more traffic to your to your current web page. Um, but what's what's important for, for citation? Again, it has a lot to do with this, this map pack, pack right here. And what a citation is, it's essentially your business name, address, and phone number. Listening in different directories or all throughout the web. Um, you might be wanting to know what's a directory. Um, well, the director is just simply a website out there that allows businesses to add their business information and services such as Facebook, Yellow Pages, LinkedIn, Yelp, or any of those websites that are out there where business can just put their information in there. And all it's going to do is give you another avenue for people to reach or to find you. And the more that you have, the more likely you'll show up in this map section here. And a good strategy I like to use is just, you know, see what the competition is in the area and what directors they're currently listening in because if it's working for them in that area, chances are it's going to work for you as well. So you don't just want to get what they have, you want to get what they have and they add more than them. So that way you completely dominate them and you can take over their rankings and this top, these top spots up here. So that's the second thing I want to cover with you is citations and just kind of explain that a little bit, how that works in this, this map section up here. And the third and final thing I want to cover with you is backlinks. And that has a lot to do um, with this organic section down here. And so what a backlink is essentially another website that's linking back to you saying that you guys offer, um, you know, piano tuning services, that, that sort of thing. So that way it brings in relevance and keywords that you're trying to rank for and get people to find you with. Um, but just right offhand, just looking, you're not too far down on here. I think I'll see you down here on the, um, actually the, the third listing. But even with that, I believe this is your, your old web page, but looking at this one, um, this is your, your new web page. So you're actually doing pretty good um, just for this keyword, piano tuning in Long Beach. Um, but for instance, if we put in piano tuning in Los Angeles, um, we're, we're not bringing you up. And I know LA is probably about 30 minutes from um, Long Beach. So this might be a good one as well for you to you know get some traffic. Uh, but again, the same thing applies. The more backlinks you have, the more likely you kind of start showing up in these, these top spots over here. So 
I'm actually what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to a site that I like to use called AREFs. Um, and what I have up now is just share your newest website, pianotuningbargain.com. And as we look here, um, we can see that you, you have 10 referring domains giving you 13 backlinks and in return you're getting found for four keywords. Now the cool thing about this, so I can actually go into this referring domains and then I can see um, you know, what, link, what websites are currently link, linking back to you, giving you some authority and relevance in the marketplace. So um, looking at one of your, your, your competitors over here, which would be, um, so we're gonna, gonna try to focus on, get you a new market. So let's look at um, Piano Tuning in Los Angeles. And the top spot that we have up here is LA Piano Tuning. So if we kind of look at their web page, we can see, um, just kind of scroll up and down, this is the home page, and they nearly don't have enough um, content on your front page. So this is the easy way to beat them out. Um, and even looking at their images, I can't, they don't have any images on, on the front page. So that's another way to kind of optimize and you know get you ranking higher just, just for LA. So if we go over to their, um, you know, AREFs and kind of look at some of their statistics, we can look to see that they have 53 referring domains, giving them 154 backlinks, and in return, they're getting filed for 332 keywords. So they actually have more keywords than you, and they're getting more traffic, and that's because they're ranked higher in the search end results. And as we see, their the web page is easy to beat out. There's not a lot of content on there, but the biggest thing that that's helping them is the number of backlinks and referring domains they have. That's why the, why they're so high, um, you know, for that the LA um, search ranking. So in order to be at your competition, you really just want to make sure that you're finding the same links that they're being listed in and getting referred to and from. Then you want to try to get those same type of links for yourself. But just like citation, you don't want to stop there with your competition has. You want to try to get on and get more than what they have. So that way you can ultimately beat them out. So Jeff, man, hopefully this has been, um, you know, helpful for you and informative. And like I said, you're free to take these tips and use them for yourself and see how they work. Just feel free to give me a heads up and let me know what you thought about this video. And like I said, if you'd like to know more about how um, we can help you grow your business and we can get together for a strategy session, just feel free to give me a call and we can chat. Um, if not, again, no worries at all. But thank you again for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to talk to you soon.